Hello everyone. In this tutorial, we'll develop an EMDK for Android application that uses data capture profile to get the barcode data into your application using keystroke output feature of EMDK profiles. So the prerequisites for this tutorial are you should have the JDK, you should have the ADT that is Android Development Toolkit and you should have the EMDK for Android installed on your machine. So let's get started with the tutorial. We'll create an Android application provide some name to this application provide the package name select the minimum required SDK make sure this is 16 that is 4.1 jelly beans select the target one that is 19 click next Select the empty activity and finally press finish to create the activity and the project itself. So this has created your project. As you can see initially there is nothing in the asset as we have not created the profile yet. So first. You need to go to the properties and select the EMDK APIs 3.0 as this is the latest version of EMDK profile. Just click apply and OK. And that should add the EMDK library over here as you can see so that you can access the EMDK APIs into your application. After that we need to create the EMDK profile so just click your project first and then click the EMDK over here select the profile manager as you have to create your profile just create provide some name to your profile I'll provide data capture profile press create button this will create your profile it will show the list of available features since we are using data capture profile to scan and get the barcode data we will select this one first you need to select activity selection here you are supposed to provide the package name of your application so in our case that was dot. Just click apply and here you need to provide the activity name which was main activity. Just click apply, press ok. So this will make sure that the data go goes into your activity. So here data input, so this could be either barcode or MSR magnetic stripe reader so in our case in our application we will select the barcode so this allows you to select different features for your barcode keep the name field empty because it is used when you are trying to modify any of the barcode feature which we are not going to do so we can just keep this field empty we can select the enable to enable the barcode we can keep this field auto as it will automatically select your scanner if you see there are different scanners or device types like imager camera laser so we'll keep it auto apart from that we have here various types of decoder which you can configure so we'll select just one of them for the demo purpose you can see all are these decoders which can configure so after that we will go into data delivery as I told you earlier we are using the keystroke mechanism their intent and IP as well the intent will provide you know the data using intent in your application and the IP would be over the network so in this case we will be using keystroke feature so we need to enable the keystroke feature first 
basic data formatting we need to enable this as well send data into your application enable and send enter key so that the data uh, would be coming one below the other rather than you know making things messy so, so just click apply and we'll click finish so this has created our data capture profile as you can see here in the asset we have emdk config file that will have all our configurations this is the name data capture profile and the various features so the scanner input enabled scanner selection auto we all did this through your through our profile manager so the next thing we need to do is provide permissions in our android manifest file so in the android manifest file we have added two permissions which are this one and it uses the library com.symbol.emdk in order to access the library now let us configure the user interface in order to get the scanned barcode data into our application so we'll need an, an edit text to display the barcode data so just go into the layout and select the activity main so this is the default ui so just replace this ui with this one so basically this has an edit text which will capture the barcode data into our application and display it so now we are done with the ui so let us come back to our main activity here will access the emdk api by implementing emdk listener so this will provide two methods on open and on closed now we'll declare few global variables this has the profile name that we you know create uh, used when we created our profile this is the exact same name data capture profile in order to access our profile this is profile manager reference to get the access to the profile manager and this is the emdk manager reference in the on create method whenever our application loads it will get the emdk manager object in order to proceed and if it successfully gets the object it will return the success code sta uh, status as success once the emdk manager object is successfully created the control will go into on open method and in on open method uh, it will initialize your emdk profile using this code so here your emdk manager is initialized as you can see and at this step you will get the result of initialization of emdk manager or profile manager and if the profile manager is successfully initialized the status is success or else you will get a failure status If the EMDK closes abruptly, the on closed method would be called. So in the on close, you can release the EMDK manager if you want. And now we'll implement the on destroy method so that whenever you exit your application, uh, you release the you make sure you release the EMDK manager in order to avoid any problems. So that's it. We are done with the all coding and configuration part. Now let us run our application. We have installed Droidet screen application which will emulate your actual device screen on your machine so that you can see the output. So now when I run this application, just select the device. Yep, and the application has finished running and it will display the edit text we have not scanned any barcode yet so let me scan few barcodes here so that it will display the you know barcode scan data 
into the edit text as you can see it displays the barcode data into our UI and it displays it one below the other as we have configured the keystroke output feature of you know profile EMDK profile so that's how it works thanks for watching